back. Welcome, everyone, to the Cavalry. Cavalry. This is a doing, special Jeff? episode. It's episode 40, and there was something in the Bible about 40 days and 40 nights, <laughs> right? Or am I thinking of Aladdin? Yeah, for you uh, Calvary listeners, That's right. the 40, 40 is a big number. 40 days, 40 nights. Yeah, and and, and the, for Aladdin, the 40 feet. That's Alibaba and the 40 Thieves. Yeah, yeah. Is something. That's, that's something. And uh, yeah, so yeah, th- welcome to all of our religious and non religious listeners alike. All are welcome here. All Sorry, are welcome. I was just getting a f- phone call. Yeah, that's all are all welcome. Right. Uh, yeah, 40 is a big you. number. Yeah, 40, the <laughs> 40 is a big number. Uh, uh-huh. I remember when I might have talked about this already, but I don't care. 40 was like, used to be over the hill, you know, people would turn yeah. 40 and they'd get you a black birthday cake and pretend that you were like dying. Yeah. And there's a gravestone on it, which as someone who's now 36 is not, that's not funny. <laughs> that is no. not being pretending that 40 is near death is not funny. So this podcast a long way from death. You're only 36. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, I, again. <laughs> oh I know. Boy. It's funny now. The first time you were definitely serious, but <laughs> uh, <laughs> welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Yes, we uh, missed it's, you. It's exciting times, you know. People are getting Johnny. Do you know anyone who's gotten the vaccine yet? Do you know anyone personally? Yes, I do. Let me see if I can think of who it would be. Uh, <laughs> my brother and his wife are dentists. They each got it. Um. And Lewis Black got it. Oh, the comedian? Yeah. Oh, wow. I don't That's know good. him. I just saw his post. <laughs> <laughs> well, that counts. Dentist? Dentist is, uh, you know, it's cutting it close. Yeah. Front, yeah you know, yeah. essential workers, front line. Well, I mean, they're, they're all up in mouths. So. That's true. That is true. And See, my that's okay. Was supposed to be getting it. I don't want to see. I, I kind of stepped on my topic too quickly, but maybe I should just get into it now. Let's and we do, can it. do Let's more do banter it. after. But that's gonna be my that was gonna be my first topic. What I need backup on is like all these people are getting upset when they see someone getting the vaccine that's not supposed to be getting it yet, right? Like, so I read a story about there was a soul instructor, soul cycle instructor who like mm-hmm. labeled themselves a teacher. And then they were able to get the vaccine. Uh, Everybody was mad. Like, you're not really a teacher. And But so my what I need backup on, and this is my hot take, is that I don't care if someone gets it early. Like, it really – I just – because every person that gets it is one step closer to this whole thing being over. Right. And so if someone's so ambitious that they, I don't know, say come up with a white lie or whatever, pretend they're a dentist – yeah. And then gets the vaccine. No, I know that your brother's really doing this, but uh, and gets the vaccine. Good for them. Just more right. people who get it, the better. If I could come up with a good enough scheme to get it right now, I would. I would be doing it. Trust me, I'm working on it. I'm trying to come up with a way to do it. So, I want everyone to get it. I want everyone to get it as fast as possible. And I think we're gonna get into a place where we're getting too cute about the rules, like who's supposed to get it when, and then it ends up going slower than it has to go. So that's just, if you're well, going to yeah, cheat, just go cheat. If you got to cheat. Yeah. I mean, survival of the fittest, you know? If you yeah. Well, and it helps. You. Yeah. It helps us. Like to me, it's like, if you get it, that helps me because that's one less idiot who's going to give it to me. Right. You know what I mean? My plan is to, did you see that article that like, some car transport car that had them broke down and they and so they had to just go knock on windows of people and be like hey this stuff's gonna go bad can we give you so i'm just gonna find one of those trucks and follow it around till it gets a flat tire or some shit or sabotage the truck that's an even better idea. that's an even quicker <laughs> idea than waiting for the truck yeah just and follow these... them with like a bow and arrow and then be like oh my god i saw you got a flat tire with a <laughs> We must have arrow. ran over an arrow. <laughs> you wouldn't have Sir, to have why any of that. Are you holding a crossbow? <laughs> what? This whole thing? Why do you have your shirt off already? Did you know we have? Yeah. But well, yeah. So, but yeah, I, I agree. That's uh, 
I think people get too worried about like, oh, you're taking my place in line when really I don't think that that's the way it works, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't I mean, not to get too morbid this early in the cavalry, but like, are we supposed to are we freaking out that uh, this whole variant is going to kind of I got no time for variants. You know, these scientists, it's like, look, you said we had to st first it was like two weeks. Stay home for two weeks and COVID will be over. You know what I mean? Everybody. Oh, back now in, we're, back when we got off the ship. Yeah. yeah. It was going to be two weeks. Now we're, we're we've look, we're doing everything you're telling us to do. We're staying home. We're wearing the mask. You know, now you're starting to talk about variants. It's like we finally get the vaccine. It's like I got no once I get that vaccine to me, COVID is over. <laughs> I'm sorry. But by the time I get it in my age group, everyone's and if you have to get a new vaccine all the time, fine. I'll get it like yeah. a flu shot. I'll get it every year, every six months, whatever you want. But we're not we're not doing this variant. I got no time for variants. Yeah. All right. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Andrew has no time for this variant bullshit. I got no time for mutations. I got no time for adaptations. You just the original Did you get COVID. A yeah. I that actually got great. it last episode, but uh, oh. nobody said anything. Oh, I didn't. But I was Brant a smaller, I was a smaller box on the screen because Brant was on. So maybe That's you didn't true. notice. That's true. Yeah, I, I, I got a haircut. I went. Uh, there's a place by my. I risked it, but it, it was. It felt pretty safe. Like, I was the only one in there, and they make you make appointments and stuff, and. Uh, then the lady, the ha lady cut my hair. Was like bragging about how safe they were, but. Then she starts like going over what she's do does on the week. I was like, eh, now you don't sound that safe to me. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, we're really safe. We you have to have an appointment, and we wear masks at all times, and we sanitize everything. And you know, it was funny because last week I was at the rave and uh, the secret party in Fresno, and uh, mm -hmm. we all flew out and got a hotel room and did edibles together. And it was like, uh, <laughs> it's getting less and less safe. Yeah, we did body shots, and it was yeah, just a crazy it's night. Crazy time, and I've got this sore throat. But anyway, hair looks good. Uh, all right, so let me ask oh. you this. Okay, I, I derailed the conversation. What no, no, no. Say? One more haircut thing. Are you going talking about haircuts, or you want to yeah, move on? Yeah, but you go haircut? first. You go first. It's on you haircuts. You know what? Your hair is very long right now. I don't think you've had a haircut during the pandemic Thank or in a long you. time. Oh, my oh, God. <laughs> Oh, this guy's back. The guy who takes everything as a compliment. <laughs> no. Yep. No, it does look good. It looks cool. It looks very cool. But Thank you. when you were getting haircuts, I have this problem where I never know what to say. Like, because they always ask you, what do you want? And then I freeze yeah. up like it's the first time. Like, I wasn't anticipating that question. It's like, what do you want me to? I was like, ow. Oh, I... Whoa. You know Whoa. You know You're asking me? What if you're the barber here? What What's am I? The questions. <laughs> what are we the doing today? Whoa, just, whoa, whoa! I just sat down. For God's sake, a little <laughs> get to know you. Or... No, I never know what to say. And then so I, I try to go like, I've kind of learned the number system because there's, you know, if you go to a really high class place, they don't use the numbers. There's no. You know, if you go to Supercuts or, like, places I go to, it's all number-based. It's like, you want yeah, three yeah. on the sides, four on top, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so I've learned the number Paint system. By numbers. But then I kind of forget sometimes, too, because, like, two – I forget what this is. I think this is, like, two, and this is pretty sh – it's actually shorter than I was kind of going for. Mm. So I think I got to be a three if I'm going by my numbers. No. But what do you – when you were getting your haircut, did, would you know what to say? Well, you know what I would do? I started doing because in the same way, and I just feel and I feel stupid because like I never prepare, and so I started bringing pictures on my phone <laughs> of like like you know like, oh here's my here's my picture of my brother can you do as close to that as you can or like a picture from my wedding or just some time when my you know when my wife thought my hair wait was, <laughs> wait 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 so they're not even like aspirational pictures of like cool celebrities they're like here's my brother. <laughs> Or here's what I used to look yeah, like. Yeah, Can you make me look like or an old picture of me? <laughs> wow, that's really <laughs> shooting. Johnny Depp. Yeah, or like, give me the uh, Rachel. His hair's longer than yours is now. Well, whatever. Can you just make me look like that? <laughs> well, you can add hair, can't you? Put on hair. Yeah, this is a salon, isn't it? Oh no, the picture thing is a good idea. I, I, I guess I could start doing that. Yeah, just when you get a haircut, you like. 
take a picture of yourself and just like make it mark it as a favorite so you know where it is. Like, this till I die. Yeah. This is what I want to look like for the rest of my life. Do you do you ever like a haircut? Are you ever happy with a haircut after you get it? Yeah, sometimes. This oh. one I was not. Just to be perfectly honest, I wasn't. And then, but then, my wife can be. You know, she has no poker face. So if I come home and she doesn't like the haircut, it's like, oh, you know. But this well, one so she you liked. Know. Okay. Yeah. So this is like the first time ever that I thought it was bad, but she liked it. Because normally she, like, wants me to say exactly what she would, you know, she's like, tell him this, you know. And then yeah. I forget what she says to say. But, uh, no. Sh- uh, but anyway, yeah, she liked it. I there have been a couple times where I really I spent a lot of money on a haircut one time when I was going to do Conan I my friend Ryan convinced me to like go to his he went to like fancy Hollywood barbers that yeah. cost like a lot of money and I spent the money I was like there's no way it's going to be you're going to be able to tell the difference but I was like you know what you can tell the difference like when they yeah. actually use scissors the whole time like wow you're like an artist <laughs> no qu- no numbers <laughs> Yeah. You don't need to know what number it needs to be. And they're just like, all right. <laughs> okay. So. Okay, great clips. Have a seat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, they knew I was a rube right away. And they're like, let's just get this guy out of here before someone catches him in here. Oh, I got to be honest. I, I'm hoping my wife doesn't listen to this episode because I'm saying this out loud. And I don't want her to hear it. But I'm worried that I will be getting a haircut at some point just out of boredom. Because I like my hair better when it's long. But I also get very bored and just do things like that to mix it up. So I hope that you could do happen, you you but. could leave it long. My brother, my older brother got like um I forget what it's called. It's like it's kind of like a mullet, but it's like a cool guy mullet or something. It's like some style now where it's like not quite shaved on the sides, but mm-hmm. it's like kind of cut up, like rough cut up. And then, like, long in the back, and it's mullet-ish for sure. Like, you could do something like that if you're bored. You could definitely <laughs> go that way. And just try it out? Yeah. So this hair all short? No, you leave that. Yeah, you think you just cut that short, but, like, not, like, buzz it. You know how old school mullets do it? Right. Like buzz so it's it like up shaggy. High. It's like shaggy. Yeah, so you trim it up good and trim it up on top good so you don't have, like, the long hair in the front, but then you keep it long in the back. Huh. We'll see. <laughs> Maybe I'll surprise you one of these weeks. Aaron will kill me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. I def- now I really hope she doesn't listen to this. Oh, God. No, I think you'd look cool. Oh, thanks. I'm just bored. So. I just want to see something happen. <laughs> just once, I'd like to open this box and see you walk in here with a mullet. With a mullet. Cool like, mullet. Like that day that I saw you with your weird, before you had your green screen and your chair made it look like you had a mullet. With my shadow mode. You could pull it off. You could pull it off. I know. I know. I I have, like, pictures of me doing stand-up where the lighting makes it look like I have a mullet sometimes. It looks pretty no. cool. I was like, ah, oh, I should try that out. But All right. I'm going to, since we're talking about haircuts, I have one in the bank here. I'll just go into that one, okay? Now, this, uh, do you always notice when, I don't know what I need support here. I just need to, This maybe this is a discussion point, but. Do you always notice when Heidi gets a haircut? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> but I will support you. Let me get some caveats, and then you tell me, because maybe it's a different situation. Because one, when Heidi gets her haircut, it's always like she goes a long time in between haircuts usually, and then it's like a big. She like we talk. She's like it's always something a little different. Cause she gets bored, you know, she wants to yeah. mix it up. So she'll cut it really short or she'll get it colored in a different way. Or it's like, and it's a lot of talk about going to the salon and she's like, should we spend the money and which one should I go to? And there's a lot of build up to it. So if I like, yeah. I didn't notice it, it would be like a bigger deal because I've been like involved in conversations about it right. beforehand. And also usually colorings involved. And I feel like if you miss out on the, the coloring, <laughs> I'm not helping. Are any of these caveats helping out? You may be making it worse. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, so this last one, she went like, not like neon pink, but like rose gold. So it's like, because she's a blonde and she wanted to 
you know, change it up, whatever. Right. And so it's like pink, rose, gold, whatever. Now I'm going to blame my color blindness. Okay. It's not black and white color blind, but I'm just going to that in there. But now, yeah, I'm a disability. That's right. If she criticizes you, she's being ableist. That's right. And it's a hate crime. Yeah. Uh, but so she got it cut. It was, it was, you know, a couple inches, but when you have longer hair like her, a couple inches isn't as super obvious, <laughs> but it's like women's haircuts are so expensive, so expensive. Yeah. And not as blaringly, glaringly different or obvious as a guy's. I go in there, I pay, you know, $23 for the MVP and I look very different and then she I go to sports clips and then uh, she I got to stop going there you know how many awkward conversations I have with people where they're like so look at the Clippers and I'm like well I don't know what sport you're talking about hey I'm not here for the sports I'm here for the clips <laughs> okay right. leave That's the sports right. out of it and every single one I go to it's my first time because I want the free MVP upgrade uh, so I have to give a different email address, a different <laughs> thing. But anyway, uh, so anyway, but she, you know, women's haircuts is like what? Oh, oh, I'm over a hundred dollars or something. Oh yeah, easily. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's crazy. No, so you're saying it's even worse if you don't notice because she's invested a lot of money in the haircut. So for you to not notice, then it's like a big deal because it's like, well, I paid all this money. I want you to notice I got my haircut. Yeah. It'd be like buying a brand new car, but not noticing you had a different car. Like, well, why did I even buy a new car if no one's going to notice, you know? Right. I mean, in, in well, I guess everyone, actually, everyone, like her friends all notice. I just, people who matter to her. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah, I was, I was concerned that this topic would make me look like just an asshole. And now I feel like, oh wow! No, no, this the color blind. You really got to lean, lean on the color blindness. That's it. that's it. You're color blind. Well, it's, it's not right for people to. I could notice. You I could not- notice once she pointed, or no, I, she didn't even point it out. She just, I overheard her talking to her friend on the phone, like later that day, and I was like, oh wait, what? Oh, it is kind of pink, you know. So I didn't notice after I was looking for it. But, uh, yeah. yeah, I got to. But so she'll just go get her hair cut and there'll be no, like, preamble about it? No, she'll tell it. me she's going to. But I got to, like, <laughs> write it down on my hand or something. <laughs> because uh, it's not, I mean, it doesn't sound like it's it's not as much of a team effort <laughs> as it is with you and Heidi where it's like, well, I all know, right, let's talk. She literally told you she's going to get her hair cut. Yes. Then she gets her hair cut and she comes home and you f- don't notice that she got <laughs> Right, if it's like an inch or two. Yeah, this is bad. This is pretty bad. But again, I, I don't know. I'm if I were you, I just lean on the. If I got to back you up, I'm going with the color blindness. Okay, which which I think I think only apply. No, she does change. It'll be blind, but like this was the one where it was pink, the only time she's gone pink. But she'll okay. sometimes yeah. All right, so uh, yeah. Oof. Oof. Well, you know. That's I'm fine. backing this, you see, up, but it's close. Yeah, this is this is one for Heidi too. To listen to and be like, oh, okay, brutal, brutal honesty. Here brutal on honesty. Cavalry. You made that one tough for me. I really tried. I tried I made all that my one ways. Tough for myself. <laughs> yeah. Well, you noticed I got a haircut, but it did take you two episodes. Yeah. So but that's but that's not yeah. bad. But I'm colorblind. You have to remember, I am colorblind. You're colorblind. You couldn't see. You can't. Your length, hair length, blind. Right. That's right. Right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> all looks the same to me. Uh. Okay, I got a, a good okay, one. You got another one? Yeah, oh yeah. I got what? another one. I got uh, another one. So, dog owner, yourself, myself, oh, dog owner. Yes. I see a lot. I don't know about Madison. I, I have a feeling maybe you guys don't have as much of this. Portland's got a little more passive aggressive. But do you ever walk by a house and there will be a sign, not even in their yard, on the parking strip? That says, uh, you know, some cute little d- puppy dog will be on it. It's like, please don't let your pets go to the bathroom here. Or don't, please respect our yard and don't allow. And there'll be like a picture of the dog peeing and like a circle and a line through it and okay. all this stuff. Do you ever see that? Uh, no, I felt like I did in L.A. Yeah, okay. okay. But not, well, 
Uh, not really here, no. Portland has it a fair amount, okay? But what, and do you I mean, even what do you mean they have it on the parking strip, not in the yard? Well, so, like, you know, there's, like, um, the sidewalk, right? And then there's the strip of grass oh, outside the, the sidewalk. Oh, the sidewalk. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's I call that the park. Do you call that park? I call that the parking strip. Have you ever heard I that? Because you don't park there. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, but it's <laughs> okay. That's a, just okay. a re- regional dialect thing, maybe. I don't know. That's but anyway, I, I strip... felt like I was being hostile, but that was that let's... was just my retaliation. <laughs> the hair topic. Well, let's let's call it what we should call it: the strip of grass between the sidewalk the, and the street. And the curb. Yeah. And the curb. Yeah. That's what they call it in okay. Madison. So even on that, there will be a sign that says, don't let your dog go to the bathroom here in like a cute way. Oh, right. like there's a little dog. Don't pee. Yeah. Don't pee here. Don't, don't make my dog eat pee pee and my poo poo. We work hard on these plants and this grass and we don't want right. any pee on it. Okay. Okay. Bullshit. You can't. You can't legislate dog pee, especially on the not the parking strip, but on the strip of grass between the sidewalk and the curb. There's no, you cannot stop because first of all, you can't tell your dog where to pee. Right. Your dog's going to pee where it wants to pee. You know, yeah. you're going to pick it up and be like, no, you can't pee. Secondly, uh, if it goes like, if it poops on your lawn, I'll pick it up a thousand right. times out of a thousand. Right. That's right. fair game. Obviously you can ask for people to pick up their dog poop, but you have no, earthly right telling people where their dogs can pee especially i mean maybe on your front lawn i don't know may i have a little more sympathy for that and i'll try but i mean it's the same it's why why the what's the differentiation between the parking strip and and the front yard like it's well because it's it's more public property because it's like people are walking over that i gotta get to that to get to the street that's like yeah. more community property. I feel like like the literally the sidewalk, like to me, your property is kind of over once the sidewalk starts. That that part on the right side. If I'm walking on the sidewalk and your house is on the left, right. That part on the right. I mean, like that's that's kind of fair game for me to walk over. You know. Okay. Or like I know that you're working in that garden and stuff, but like that's a little more of the world's. Right. Okay. Right. And I'm not like, you know, Cesar Chavez here or something, but I that is like. <laughs> I feel like that's it's still your property, but it's like accessible to the world a little bit. Like you would never put a fence around that. Right. It'd be insane. Right, right. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, I totally I think, agree. I totally agree. And like, I mean, is it because they don't want their grass to turn? Like basically what the sign. There's ammonia in the pee, they say, and they don't want their grass to turn. Different. Oh, too bad. You know. Exactly. It's na- First of all, it's na- you're out, especially if it's not fenced in. Like, you're open to coyotes and, like, who knows what's coming around peeing on your lawn, you know? Yeah. You can't – those signs are basically saying, hey, pee on my neighbor's yard instead of mine. Because if you can't right. pee in someone's yard, there's literally nowhere to pee. What is it? You're going to train your dog to pee in the street? I was on this stu- horrible website next door. And this is what made me think of it because uh, this lady was posting. She said, please respect my sign. She says, I, ha- I put this sign out saying, do not pee on my uh, grass. And she's like, people are, dogs are still peeing on the ground. And I'm like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, you can't control. And then everybody, and then the comments were all backing her up. They were like, uh, this one lady was like, I don't know why dog owners can't have their dogs go to the bathroom before they're like on the in the backyard before their walk. It's like, oh yeah, I'll just tell my dog like, hey, make sure you piss and shit now because we're gonna go for a walk outside where there's gonna be a lot of other smells of pee and poop and don't go then. I'll just have that conversation with my dog really clearly before. Like people are insane. I mean, isn't that why you go for a walk with your dog? Yes. Yeah. So, okay, but you agree. Cause you wouldn't get mad. If I saw someone with their dog and they were peeing on my lawn, I wouldn't get mad. You know, if they don't pick up dog poop, that's a whole different issue. Right. But peeing or just pooping and picking it up, I have no problem with that. Have you ever seen someone poop or someone's dog (laughs) poop in your yard and uh, keep on walking? I've never seen it, but we've had 
like you know in portland people are pretty good about it's funny because in la it was like minefields like oh, just God, nobody p- nobody picked it up it was a nightmare but in portland people are pretty good about it but i've found a couple times a couple times on the strip of grass between the sidewalk and the curb i used to daydream in la i used to daydream about catching someone even not even in my i mean i didn't have a, you know i was in an apartment so i didn't give a shit but like just the disrespect mm. and the selfishness of it i would i would i would daydream about watching someone do it following them see where they live <laughs> and then just collecting all the dog shit I could and just dumping it all over their porch or throwing it on their head next time I see them out walking, you know, just a bag of shit. Totally. I, L.A. was so bad, it would be on, like, sidewalks. There would just be big piles of sh- just in the middle of the side. The dog was like, I, there's no room for me to go on that grass. So <laughs> it's just too, too much right. shit. I got to go on the sidewalk. I don't want to get oh. my, pa- my paws dirty. Uh, yeah. like, you know the worst? Okay, here's worse than even, and I used to see this on, uh, you'll see this on like hikes a lot. If you go like on, like in LA, it'd be Runyon Canyon, but yeah. here in Portland, there's a hike, and I've seen this a couple times. People will bag up dog shit and then leave it on the side of the trail. Like they don't want to carry it. Right. Yeah. I've and then, that. and I used to see that in Runyon all the time. There'd just be bags of dog shit everywhere. And it's like, that's worse. That is so much worse. You had the bag. You cuz if there have been let's all be honest, okay? Everybody's had this happen where you've gone out and you forgot a bag and you feel horrible and if you're a good person, maybe you afterward you tried to find it, you went home, got the bag, came back out and tried to find it. But it ha- I get it. It happens. It shouldn't happen a lot, but it can happen. I have taken you, leaves. I have scooped yeah, okay. leaves to pick shit up when I didn't yep, have a- I've done the same thing. So okay, see? Go above and beyond. But I'm even willing to give people the benefit of the doubt every God, once I'm in a while. God, I'm a hero. I am a hero. <laughs> anyway, sorry, what? You're a great person. If only you were as good at recognizing <laughs> my wife. haircuts as you are picking up dog shit with your bare hands. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not why she she didn't marry you for your ability to pick out a new haircut. She right. married you because of those scooper poop, pooper scooper hands of yours. <laughs> that's right. These myths. <laughs> Uh no, but my point is, if you have a bag and you mm-hmm. and you go to the trouble of using the bag and tying it off, now you're home free. All you gotta do is carry it to a trash can. Yeah. But you're now you're throwing it on the ground, and it's like, uh, to me that's even worse. Yeah, you're basically just sticking. I mean, cause it's you know you're you're basically sticking a flag in the shit, saying here it is, bright <laughs> and yellow. <laughs> It's a big, right. big yellow bag full of dog shit. Right. Because, like, adding plastic to the shit. Now you're just, like, ensuring that the shit will last a longer time. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> like, I'm still leaving it out in the world, but now I just want to make sure it, like, hurts the environment. Yeah. Now long. it won't get wiped away in the rain. It's protected. Right. Yes. It'll be yeah. somebody else's problem. It'll wash up on a beach somewhere. But, uh,. Yeah, I guess that's like my big uh, complaint. Yeah, that's that, I've, that. That I don't know if I've ever seen the. I've seen like don't let your dog. And I always just assume it's like, well, they, well, why? Like, they're talking about picking up shit, and I always wondered like, is it because they don't want people peeing? Like, that's not fair. You can't say don't pee here. It's impossible. You gotta it's pee impossible. somewhere. Yeah, it's not your yard. It's your next door neighbor's. I think I might start myself peeing on those signs. You I'm should. just gonna take a leak on the. On those signs, you get really aggressive. I talk big. I'm not. That'll show them. <laughs> That'll show them. I'm too scared to even comment in the next door thread. I'm like, I, I'm thought, not... you, I thought you couldn't get into it. When well, you brought up one episode and you were like, "Yeah, I can't. I got locked out or something." Did you? I'm back now. I don't know what happened, but I'm back. And I think this ring doorbell got me back in. Oh. My brother got me one of those doorbells for Christmas, so now it's like I get all these notifications. Somehow that got hooked up with that. Next thing you know, I'm right back on these awful posts about <sighs> stolen dog bikes. pee and stolen bikes. And so, yeah, and so then, like, then you see, like, every once in a while, someone will, like, have the courage to confront the this, you know, NIMBY person on the site and say, yeah. like, they disagree. And then they've got to deal with all these buzzards, you know, attacking them. And I was like, 
I don't have that courage to even <laughs> comment on the lady's oh, yeah. post. But I did I did like the lady who disagreed with her. I liked her comment because Heidi I was like I was I, I was telling this to Heidi and she was like, "Well, did you like the comment?" I was like, "Nah, I didn't want to get involved. I don't want to get political on there, you know. I don't want people seeing me." On. It's like, yeah. "Well, you but you should like it. Like that person went out on their limb to to bite the power." And I was like, "All right." So I went back in and I liked her comment. That was my big <laughs> That was my big day today. Political today. stand. <laughs> That's how I, I'm changing the world. Yeah, one like at yeah. a time. One like at a time on next door. It'd be funny you get attacked. Who the fuck liked this comment, <laughs> you stupid just a burning bag of dog shit on my front door. <laughs> Ding dong, motherfucker. <laughs> we want you out of this neighborhood. Next time, think about the comments you like on the Ring app. Huh? What? <laughs> we got uh, my no my, for... uh, my next door app is still set to L.A. Because I don't know. <laughs> oh, my yeah, that's right. I just delete it as soon as I get them. I'm too lazy to unsubscribe <laughs> or update. <laughs> well, see, you're safe to leave comments on there because people won't be able to find you. All right. Yeah, that's true. That's what I should do. I should change my address on there. Oh. Uh, anyway. Uh, yeah. All right. I got. All right. Got, what do you need? I got a final one. You got one more? Yeah. So, if you, let's say you fart <laughs> in, front, in front of your... <laughs> You're with Heidi, and you yeah. rip a fart. And it's a loud one, okay? That's not necessarily rude. Now, this is an interesting one, because I don't know if I actually <laughs> back this up myself. I'm only bringing it because I, I was forced into making this argument. But, and uh, so you fart. Is it, <laughs> is it rude to fart in front of your wife if you know it's not going to be a stinky one? <laughs> Man, you are making me work <laughs> today. <laughs> because you couldn't have picked a worse uh like my wife very sensitive to smell. Like, smell, keeping the mystery, you know, not a lot of bathroom talk. Mm -hmm. Uh definitely not like ever to the point where we just like farting each in front i know some couples like they like cur try to make it as loud as i can to like get a laugh or whatever <laughs> but that is not us like and that is not my wife at all uh but if you know first of all how do you know it's not gonna smell what? like are how you some long? sort of how long have you been alive? You can't tell just by your tummy and how it comes out. If it's like, oh, this is probably not, not good. I, 99 out of 100 times, I could tell you if it's going to smell or not. I could probably tell you what it's going to smell You're like. You're like a sommelier of uh, flatulence. Sure, sure. I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know what that what a sommelier is. Is that a person from Somalia? Yeah, it's a country. and They're the pirates. No, it's the guy at the restaurant who um, they don't have these at, you know, KFC. KFC. <laughs> <laughs> well, then I don't know why you needed to bring it up. <laughs> That'd be great if they had a sommelier at KFC just to tell you about the diet. It was so now, if you mix the Mr. Pib with the Sprite, you get a lovely rosé. Mm. Uh, no, but like... Uh, what was I saying? Oh, what is, what, I, what is this okay. No, I know what you're saying. I I know what you're saying when you're saying, I know when it's gonna be like a really smelly one, but <laughs> I don't know when it's gonna be totally absence of s smell. I can never guarantee that. I would never have the confidence to like really uh -huh. go as loud as possible, <laughs> knowing in my soul that I because if there because if I'm wrong, it's like I I don't know. I yeah. I would be hard. If to you're wrong down. once. You can't play the game anymore ever again. You know. There you go. It's like Russian roulette. You have to be right every time. Yeah, that's right. Uh that, you know. I will say though that having a baby is great because it's like one more person to blame farts on. <laughs> Cuz it used so to you're just saying, be the dog. You, you blame the you blame the the baby. Yeah, cuz she audibly ones on her. Because the dog would never audibly fart. You would have yeah. to 
But the baby Batman, audibly. Batman started audibly farting in his old age. Oh, really? That's nice. Yeah, it's really weird. It's it's and it's really gross. Oh. Because <laughs> it's not like a. It's like you can like. It's like ASMR or whatever it is, where you can like hear the butthole. It's just awful. You it's bought like him like a, a slow fart. You bought him like a three thousand dollar microphone with a wind guard, and he's just got his ass right up next to it. <laughs> You're like recording yeah. it for YouTube. Yeah. I find it very calming. Awesome. <laughs> I fall asleep to it. Uh, no, but yeah, I don't know. So you know, uh, well, for so, fa- oh, so you what this. you're saying is that you know for a fact it's not going to smell. So you go, what is the harm of ripping a super right. loud fart just for the yucks of it? Well, full disclosure, it was, it's like, and this isn't just one instance, but I'm just pretending it is. Uh, but like, let's say we're in the kitchen chatting or whatever just hanging out and I just fart because, you know, I'm not, you know, she's farted in front of me. I fart in front of her sometimes. Whatever. It depends on the mood, the whole thing. We don't always do that. Sometimes we like to keep the mystery. Anyway, so anyways, it was a loud one. And instead of giggling, she was like, oh, God. And so I'm forced into a corner and I say, and I, and I was confident. I wouldn't have said this, you know, if I knew it was going to be a stinker. If I, if I knew it was going to be a stinker, I probably wouldn't have done it. And also, I wouldn't have said this. I, w- I, pre- I probably would have been like, yeah, sorry. Should we go in the other room? Uh, but I knew it wasn't going to. So I said, what? It's not going to smell. I know it's not going to smell. <laughs> now, in my heart of hearts, to be full disclosure, yes, that was rude. I shouldn't have just farted while we're sitting there talking. But I did it, and then I had to stick up for myself. And say, hey, that's fine that I did that because it's not going to smell. Well, and, it and it's a great defense, you know. I mean, it, and it didn't smell, I take it. That's the important part of the story, right? It didn't smell. Sure. Yeah. And uh, what, okay, I don't know what I was going to ask. What were you talking about? That kind of makes a difference. Like if she was her like. Hair, uh, her haircut. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I just got my hair. <laughs> oh, does that mean you don't like it? <laughs> <laughs> no, that means my butt doesn't like it. That means I love it. Uh, yeah, no, I don't. I've just some, you know, I don't know, work or money or something. So I don't know. <laughs> Let me ask no, I was just this. saying because if you were talking about something very like serious or important, and you're like, oh, watch this, and then everybody's <laughs> like, oh my god, Johnny, the man is dead. Can we show some decorum? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're, no, but like, uh, uh, if it's like you know you're joking around and then you can throw that in, like I don't, I, it's defensible, totally defensible. I can get there. Sure. And like Let you said, you it's different for you too because your wife is open to the to the idea of the occasional hilarious fart. My <laughs> wife does not find it funny. So it's different for you and I. If you were married to my wife, you probably wouldn't have done it, right? Because you're like, she's never right. laughed at this before. Why would this be the time <laughs> that she goes for this? <laughs> but you have previous experience where you're like, I've gotten some good laughs out of out of oh, yeah. with a fart. So it was worth a shot. That's right. Yeah, I don't even know if it, it wasn't like a pushed out one, like, oh, oh this is going to be great. It was like, a, whatever, here it comes, you know. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I'm really. I don't know why that I makes really it better. Look, yeah, I, know, I don't know I'm why like, that makes it better. That it's just like I guess it's a sin of omission versus commission that you're like it's like the apathy fart rather than the like <laughs> <laughs> you weren't bursting a blood vessel in your eye. <laughs> you're like veins are popping out. <laughs> she's like, "What's wrong with you? Just hang on. <laughs> Give me a second. It's gonna be hilarious." <laughs> Would you rather? Would you rather? Let's say. Let's say you're on a date. Okay. This is we're both single. You and I are both single. Yeah. And you're on a date with a woman. You're on a let's say you're on a date with Heidi back in the day, okay? Early date. Would you re- and you fart. You're at a table, it's a quiet restaurant <laughs> and you fart. <laughs> By accident, we'll say whatever. Yeah. yeah Would you rather it be silent and smell like just a fucking stomach ache, the worst fart, like 
god awful yes, I... or super loud but no smell oh the silent Be- <laughs> really? because you can just blame someone else <laughs> and i'm totally f- i've done it a million times i'm totally comfortable doing that pinning it on the waiter or the elderly couple next to me i'm like Jesus Christ. But let's uh, all you need is like 10% of plausible deniability, <laughs> and your date will give you the benefit of the doubt because they don't want you to smell like shit. They want to believe you. They want to believe that that did not come out of you because they picked you to go on a date with, you know? Okay. All right, but if so it's I'm... loud and it's like 100%, <laughs> there's no getting out of it. It came from my chair. <laughs> uh, you're dead. I don't know what, how you even come back from that. All right. All right, you found a loophole. Let's say you had her over to cook a meal for her. It's just <laughs> the two of you. Which we're one just, would you Wait, have? we're just going to do 45 minutes more of fart hypotheticals. Hang on, everybody. We, we <laughs> finally found a topic for this podcast that has legs. This is We're changing formats. Rip it down. <laughs> we're starting over. It's fart hypotheticals with Johnny we and Andrew. we a new that's logo, all that's, the logo. That's all. We'll that's be all two that's butt like. cheeks. Uh, no. If okay, so I see what you're saying. You can't get out of it. It's either gonna be smelly or it's gonna be loud. Then yeah. loud. Then loud. <laughs> yeah. Because you're right. Then it's just like, oh, I'm sorry. That's embarrassing. Let's never talk about that again. And then, but if she doesn't smell it, then it can we can get over it faster. But if you have to like crack a window or something, then it's <laughs> very. Very but you have to you have to address if it's in that early stage and it's loud, you have to address it. Otherwise you're both just crazy people. If it's a stink bomb but there was no sound, you can both just pretend you don't smell it. And then <laughs> kinda, you know, yeah, but I You both know I, I don't think you don't have it's not like burp. When I see like here's my problem. Sometimes in the car and when you're eating, you know, I'm with my wife and it's you're on a road trip usually and you're eating like road food or something. So you're going to be more prone to like have to fart. Road and food. Is that what you call my diet? <laughs> that's road what food. I call. That's what I call your graduation dinners. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, yeah. So I might be more prone to fart eating like bur- beef jerky and Diet Coke. And, all this stuff. and so yeah. like. uh Here's the dilemma. If I'll usually fart and just go, I'm going to hope that that just doesn't like it got absorbed into the seat, you know, because it's not leather seats. So maybe the cloth sure. seats, I'll just let it kind of absorb and just it won't make it over to her. But then if it does, she'll go, oh, God, crack a window or like, why didn't you crack a window? But right. conversely, if I fart and immediately crack a window, then it's, she's annoyed no matter what, because then it's like, oh, God, why did you, you know what I mean? Because then yeah, she yeah, knows yeah. why I'm cracking the window. It's like 45 degrees outside. Everybody knows I don't need the fresh air. So it's kind of a uh, catch-22 if I'm using, I don't uh, think I'm I using see, that yeah. correctly. But. Good point, good point. Can't win, can't win. Just trying to add hypotheticals to our new format. Yeah. If you were <laughs> on a trolley heading towards... Uh-huh. <laughs> 50 people but could pull the lever and go kill one person but you knew that person and you farted really loud (laughs) which which would you pull the lever (laughs) and not fart if you pulled the lever i don't know fart farting hypotheticals are great yeah we could start it we could teach a whole class like at a community college like um like ethics and farting yeah no, 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 no. You got a profess professorial look with the long hair and the beard and yeah, put, just little... put on a corduroy sport coat, which I have. Yep. Yeah. There you go. That works. You have a professorial mustache. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Is it a prof profess it's kinda of more like cop stu- campus police? I'll be the. Uh, I can see that. I can see that. The guy busting up parties, everyone hates. I have a. Fa- <laughs> I have more of a everybody hates that guy look. That's what I've. What going was for. what was the what was the Have you had a mustache before, this time? No, no. Uh, 
I just did it. I forget why, you know, it was like, um, boredom probably. I think I just was shaving and it's probably on the road somewhere and thought like it, this will never make it home. But I remember I did it in like, it was like Christmas time or this. All I know is like, what's the month where you, where you do like no shave for like prostate November. cancer or something? November, November, November right? Yeah. yeah. All I know is I think it was in December, like, two years ago or th- maybe three years ago when I grew up because uh, I remember my friend going, w- you waited till after it- to raise awareness to prostate cancer <laughs> 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 to grow a stupid mustache. And I was like, oh, yeah, I didn't know. I didn't. I, yeah. I didn't know there was a schedule for it. Yeah, I didn't know I was saving lives. Do you ever really. change the length? Like right now it goes down below. Do you ever have it cut off? Yeah. Well, you know what's funny? Speaking of barbers, I was in Vegas one time and they had this like deal with like a guy cutting hair. It was like a comedy festival and they brought in a, a it was kind of cool. They brought in a barber to the, they had this big green room where all the comics could hang out and get drinks and food. And they brought in this barber to like give free hair. Like he was like the, one of those, they, they come to you kind of, and he was really cool. And he had like, and he like cut my mustache for me. And I was like, oh man, I need to like, figure out how he's doing it because it looked so good i'm telling you it like looked really good uh, it's like if i could make it look like this every day i'd be cool and i've never been able to get it like like he did it so did you i take should a picture of your face right after i know i should have maybe i have pictures from that festival i should try and find them but uh i may i might go maybe i'll go to a barber and tell him to cut my mustache and see what happens have you ever had them, it up have you ever had them cut your eyebrows Without you asking, yeah, that used I for, man, I totally forgot about. It, but they would put the comb in, yeah, and then like use the clippers and like buzz. And I've never asked for an eyebrow eyebrow trim. Yeah, I thought there was something wrong. I was like, oh, all right, are they that out of control? Yeah, Excuse trust, trust me, sir. Me. <laughs> How dare you? I'm growing. I know I don't know awareness. anything about. Sp- I know I don't know anything about sports, but please leave my eyebrows. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. No, yeah, I don't know. I uh what about you? Have you ever gone for like a beard trim? Have you ever gotten like professional beard? No, trim? I'll have this looks good right now. To, I don't know how to like I always have these weird long like this part, so I always have them like e- fix that cuz otherwise it's like either too long or I can't tuck it behind my ear. So I'll But have you have your it. own clippers for your beard like you just use Yeah, I've never had it. a barber do that. I just clip it every couple It looks of yours looks good cuz it can come in full. See if I ever grow it try to grow a real beard i get patchy right right in here and it looks horrible it's very neck beardy yeah so i just that's i guess that's really why i have the mustache is just because i know i can't do the beard i always thought about that too like because you know like castaway tom hanks was like grew like a big beard for the role and i was like i wonder what would happen if i just let it go for like two years yeah you know got past that initial patchiness and just like would it just keep growing out neck beard down and then still with these patches on there or would eventually that fill in i don't know like i feel like my i would never because i've gone a long time without it it just gets like thick and puffy it never goes down yeah it would be a real shame know. if you were like booked for something like that and you they were waiting and waiting for your beard to get good enough it just clouded up thick <laughs> out here just getting grosser and gross yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> Like, yeah, you look a little too on a deserted island. We want, <laughs> yeah. we want the sexy deserted yeah, island. Yeah, you, the... you're looking pretty rough. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Well, buddy, I think we, that's it. I yeah, think I we think, did it. Uh, I think uh, I think you did you? it. I think you got a little more support <laughs> than I did. But that's, hate, you know what? That's why we're here. I hate that you're right. I hate that you're what you're saying is true, but I... I <laughs> You made it rough. I got to say, you made it tough. And I would challenge listeners out there to have backed Johnny up on these two topics. Like, I mean, they, they were rough. They were tough ones, too. That's for you got to have these episodes, though. You got to have them. You know, we've been we're, we've, we've got to say we've been through it all. Yeah, we're, we're, we're updating our format. It's no longer just back each other up. It's confrontational. It's it's like talking head cable news. Right. You know, left versus right. It's very yell at each other. And. It's fart hypotheticals. That's right. It's so all it's fart. very confrontational fart hypotheticals on the cavalry. Yeah. Sometimes the cavalry, 
we accept both listeners. Yeah, both. Maybe that is a new section. We'll just have at the end. We'll or at some point we'll just have you know what's the new segment part of the week. The fart <laughs> hypothetical. We got, we got the pre-show <laughs> banter. We got the you know the big bulk of it, the back it up, and then the hypothetical yeah. part. Would you rather? That's a good. We got to get these sponsored. I know. Let's see what right. products are related to farts. Mm. Charcoal underpants. <laughs> 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 charcoal underpants that does sound like some uh you know they have those like hype anytime they sell like grooming products they have to like really butch it up for men mm-hmm. you know they're like sasquatch I, I hate those sasquatch things. deodorant or manly men hair trimmers for yeah. trimming your your hedges down there or whatever and so that's that's the way we'll sell like a box service of underwear but call it charcoal underpants <laughs> every month from charcoal, charcoal underpants box. Underpants. Yeah. Anyway. All right, buddy. Good All episode. Right. Good episode. We did it. We will. Uh, thanks for listening, everybody. Make sure to subscribe. Leave a Leave five a star five-star review. review. What do you need backup on? We will see. We proved it. We it took us a couple weeks, but we got to our last uh, two commenters. So thank you for those. And uh, leave a comment, and we will talk about it on the show. That's right. Follow us on social media and subscribe to our YouTube. And we will see you next week on The Cavalry. The Cavalry.